Okay, chapter 6, page 121, E1. A horizontally directed force of 40 newtons is used to pull a box a distance of 1.5 meters across the table. How much work is done by the 40 newton force? So, we know that work is equal to force times distance. So we have a 40 Newton force and we're going a distance of 1.5 meters And that equals multiply 40 by 1.5 and you get 60 Newton meters and a Newton meter is equal to a joule. So the answer is 60 joules. Okay? Now let's do E5. E5. A force of 130 newtons is used to drag a crate 4 meters across a floor. The force is directed at an angle upward from the crate. So this is more typical if you were dragging something with a rope or if you're pulling a wagon, right? You're not going to be pulling it straight. You would be pulling it up at an angle as you, you know, you're, you're pulling a wagon and your little brother's in a wagon or something like that, right? But you're walking horizontally, but you're holding it at an angle, right? So that, so that the vertical comp component of the force is 120 newtons and a horizontal component is 50 newtons, as shown in the diagram. Well, let's look at this diagram. I can hold it up here. I don't know if you can see that. It's in your book, so. Okay, part A. What is the work done by the horizontal component of the force? So, Let's do E5, oh, E5A. I'll put an A underneath it. E5A. Okay, so once again, work is equal to force times distance equals 50 newtons times 4 meters is equal to 50 times 4, 200 newton meters. Newton meters and a newton meter is a joule. Okay. All right, now let's do number B, E5B. Move this up. E5B. What is the work done by the vertical component of the force, right? Because you're pulling up at an angle, so there's a horizontal. This was the horizontal 200 newtons. What is the work done by, by the vertical component? Well, work is force times distance. The vertical component hasn't, hasn't done anything. Even though you're pulling, well, you know, that's a shame, <laughs> but, but that, you're not doing any useful work in that direction, right? Even though the angle is easier. So the answer is zero. E5B. What is the work done by the vertical component of the force? The answer is zero. Okay, 
And this problem continues. E5C. This one goes through a whole bunch of concepts here. All right, E5C. What is the total work done by the 130 Newton force, right? So that you're pulling up at an angle of 130. We figured out the horizontal work. We figured out the vertical work. What is the total work done? Well, the only work done is the horizontal co component. So it's 200 joules. The answer for C is 200 joules. Let me show you all this. Okay, 